on this episode of Sports Science. Can a girl possibly hit as hard as a guy? Brace yourself. Sports Science is about to knock you senseless. In this former airplane hangar, we created the world's best sports laboratory. A rocket high-tech facility with one purpose, to analyze the best athletes in the world. And with our new cutting-edge mobile laboratory, the world is now our testing ground. We've raised the bar to push the limits of human performance. We're bigger and better than ever before. This is Sports Science. The phrase, you hit like a girl, is a common schoolyard taunt. It's an insult, but should it be? I mean, can't girls hit as hard as guys? To find out, we're gonna put female punching power to the test and determine once and for all if being told you hit like a girl is an insult or a compliment. To see if women can deal a blow to this gender bias, we called on the best female boxer on the planet, undefeated world champion, Lucia Riker. You might remember her as the evil boxing villain in the movie, Million Dollar Baby. In real life, Lucia's a dominating force in the fight world. With a record of 54 and 0, 36 by knockout. When people say you hit like a girl, it actually means your arm punching. And there are a lot of men that arm punch. So the cliche is basically you punch with your arm. So punching like a girl is punching like this. Yeah. But clearly, there are... Can you do that again? <laughs> yeah, I like is that. Is that good? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to pit you against a male boxer. Same size, same height, same weight. And we're going to see, can a woman really punch as hard as a man? You ready to do this? I absolutely am. For this matchup, we need a level playing field. So we brought in the perfect opponent. A man with 100 wins under his belt. Olympic boxer, Mo Ganyu. Mo's exactly the same height and weight as Lucia. And he's an expert at swinging some heavy fists. To test the punching power of these boxers, we turn to the world's most sophisticated machine, the human body. Say hello to our walking, talking heavy bag. Mixed martial arts trainer and heavyweight brawler, Julian Raj. I work as a sparring partner, as a trainer, and as a fighter. Um, I've taken countless body shots. This might be the stupidest thing I've ever done, but today I'm here to be a human punching bag. Our professional sparring partner has agreed to take punches from each of our fighters to determine if he can tell the difference between a man's punch and a woman's, which means he'll have to be blindfolded. We're going to be putting the blindfold on you, uh -huh. all right? And what you're going to hear me say is boxer number one. You ready? And I'm going to say three two, one, and punch. Okay. So you'll have a chance to tighten up your abs, right. right? We're not gonna sucker punch you. Oh, I appreciate it. So can a guy who takes punches for a living be able to tell the difference between a punch from a man or a woman? I definitely think I'll be able to tell the difference. <laughs> I'd be really surprised if I couldn't. It's time for the fists to fly. Here we go. Boxer number one. Ready? Here we go. And 
Three, two, one, punch! Boxer number two. Ready? Three, two, one, punch! So who hid harder? This is the big moment. You survived. Yeah, <laughs> barely. <laughs> tell me what you felt. Tell me what you were feeling. I really couldn't tell the difference between the first punch and the second punch. There's no qualitative difference. No, because they both hit about the same. I'm really surprised, honestly. I really thought I'd be able to tell when Mo hit me versus Lucia, but it was about the same power. I was amazed. I was really amazed that she could hit like that. Our professional sparring partner couldn't identify the sex of the punchers. So for a more objective analysis, we're turning to science and our state-of-the-art Hybrid 3 crash test dummy. We rigged a pressure sensor behind the face that'll measure the impact force of Lucia's and Mo's punches. Three, two, one. How do you think he did? Good. That's powerful. Moe's best shot smashed our dummy with 710 pounds of force. So can Lucia really match that? Doubtful. She'll be at a disadvantage because men typically have between 10 and 20% more muscle mass than women. Most of it's packed into the arms, chest, and back, which should translate into a bigger punch. So let's see if Lucia can really match Moe's force. All right, we're ready to go. Three, two, one. You broke the dummy. You literally blew out the back of his head. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so how hard did this girl hit? Lucia has a very strong punch. She generated 922 pounds of force. 922 pounds of force. That's over 200 pounds of force more than Moe's punch. And amazingly, Lucia hit just as hard as professional MMA fighter, Houston the Assassin Alexander. So how can this woman punch harder than a professional MMA fighter? comes down to Sir Isaac Newton's greatest hit. Force equals mass times acceleration. Lucia's fist accelerates to a maximum velocity of 36 feet per second. That's more than twice as fast as a rattlesnake strike. Lucia maximizes an efficient transfer of energy from her feet to her fist, uncoiling her body with a textbook kinetic chain. And the fact is, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. 
It's Lucia's perfect technique that brings the hurt. I don't want to say I punch like a man. I punch like a coordinated athlete. So next time you're tempted to accuse someone of hitting like a girl, be careful who you're talking to. So I punch like a girl, but maybe I could kick your ass.